I think that the whole idea of expecting to win is a mindset. And, and so you go into a job search expecting to win, expecting to be hired, believing in yourself. I think it's part of self-trust. So you always start with yourself. And you have a sense of, I'm capable, I'm competent. I'm not perfect, but I don't have to be perfect. I just have to have a sense of, I can trust myself, and I give to people a person they can trust. And I go in with that mindset. And that's my intent. And I want to serve, I want to do good. I, you know, my, in other words, my motives are good. My intent is good. But now I believe in myself. I'm confident. Whether it's called Pygmalion Effect, the Hawthorne Effect, faith, self-confidence, it's all about this belief that tends to create a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you believe it. And I think that's very important for job seekers, that they believe in themselves, they have a sense of self-trust, a self-confidence that precedes them. And that comes out of their own integrity and their own good intent as well as their skills and their track record. It gives them a sense of confidence. I can trust myself. I make a commitment to myself, I keep it. There's a sense of integrity that comes from that, power that comes from that, clarity that comes from that. And that gives a person more belief and self-confidence. And with that as a starting place, you go in and you believe, you know what, I'm gonna find the right job. And it's gonna be not just any job, it's gonna be the right job, and it's gonna work for me. I believe that. And they stay in the process. I think it helps bring it about. The data on it is pretty compelling that, again, whether it's called Hawthorne Effect, Pygmalion Effect, or Self-Fulfilling Prophecy, when you believe, it tends to come about.